Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in this video I'm going to talk to you about some of my car boot sale finds. I say car boot sale finds but this one was a private sale. Um, went to um, a friend's house who's clearing, um, giving up the business and basically I bought one, two, three, four, five. I bought six big boxes full of stock off in this morning. Um, now, in particular, I'm going to show you some of the bits in this film uh, today because I want to get rid of them tomorrow morning. Um, I'm working down in Cardiff. So I'm going to show you some of the silver plate items in this video. Um, it's all wrapped up, so you're going to have to bear with me as I unwrap the pieces. You were seeing it now. It's the first time I've looked at the stuff since I've come back from his house. Now what we have here is a beautiful um, early 20th century, 1900-ish, 1920 Art Deco maybe, uh, silver plate toast rack, real nice feet, uh, lovely little heart shape, if you turn them up that way you can see the shape, really nice little fleur de -lis on the top, now is it stamped anyway, yeah, obviously I'm seeing this stuff tidy for the first time guys I bought a job lot um, job lot was placed in front of me price was given um, uh, this one has been acid tested but there you can see that it's not hallmarked you've obviously checked it's not solid silver by acid testing and you can just see the brass coming through so you've acid tested so I don't have to um, but still a really nice you know, it's an antique, it's a hundred year old, um, silver plate toast rack. As I've said, the entire job lot come in um, and he charged me £30 for all the silver plate. So I'm going to show you all the silver plate in this video and I'll show you what the other pieces in another video in a minute. Here we have a sauce or gravy boat, again silver plate. Uh, this one is Temple and Crook. Motocum straw. Anywho, there's the uh, is it there that way. Don't know if you can see that, guys. I can't see on the little screen. But a nice little gravy or sauce boat. It's like Christmas, isn't it? When you're unpacking uh, stuff, I didn't want to spend too much time looking at it um, while over there. The, the price that was given to me was seriously cheap so I wouldn't insult him by sitting down going through it to see whether or not there's any silver in there and things like that. He's been very fair with his prices um, so it's a simple question of buy it, come home and have a little look at it when you get home. Again I'm looking on this one to see if it's silver or plate. Looking but there, you've actually tested the foot because there's copper coming through. So again, this one you've obviously had to test because it's not marked anyway. Real nice foot on this one. Um, looks Victorian. Uh, if you look here, you got a little tiny bit of copper coming through where you've actually tested and vet the silver off. But these are all really nice shapes, lovely condition. Still got all the bloody herbs in it. You haven't even tipped the herbs out. So you can see how fresh it is guys. It's come in. It's got its original Bristol Blue Glass Liner. Always buy these with the liners if you can. I'll tip that out. I don't want it in there. Now, I'm going to put this one just aside just for a second. Because it's part of a set. Right, so I'll put that one here just for a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's all I want. Let's wrap them up. I make them run a bit. Oh, they were strong spices. Anyhow, let's move on a minute. We have yet another. This one containing salts. So let's get rid of the salt. There's another, I'm going to put them all aside a second and then I'm going to show you these ones as a set. 
They are absolutely spectacular. Let's get rid of that. A lot of these pieces have come from the same gentleman I was buying off uh, last week. Some of the bits you saw. Um, where I bought the Ming horse and a few other pieces where he's given up the job and he's just selling the pieces on. Very knowledgeable man, but he's just had enough. This one might be silver and it hasn't been tested. It's not stamped anywhere that I can see. Um, here we have an antique tea strainer. Maybe silver. It's light enough to be solid silver. It's going to have to be acid tested. He hasn't tested this one. Um, you don't see these that often. It's a real nice shape. Nice size. It'll sit on a modern day cup now and could be used now. Um, and to be totally honest though, for now, um, I may use this one for my daughter's coffee. She has a cup of coffee and I got the um, the coffee that doesn't dissolve tidy. I'm not sure on the name because I don't drink coffee. Um, but I can put that, sieve it through. So that one I may use for a bit and then I'll sell it. But to be totally honest though, you know, you ain't going to struggle to get 12 or 15 pounds for a strainer, I guess. It's got some numbers inscribed by there. I don't know if you can see it. That normally means that it's been in a pawn shop at some time and they scrape in the numbers. So that's Curio. This one's a little more worn. Uh, it has a bit of wear on the inside of the silver. But again, a real nice one again. Large, nice legs, nice feet. Silver plate, unmarked again. But a real nice source boat. Here we have a mid-century-ish um, silver plated wine cooler or glass cooler. Lion uh, motifs on the side with the little ring handles. Real nice little pleasant thing. It's got its insert inside. Little in, uh, silver plated insert. Keep the uh, bottle off the bottom. Nice little thing. And it's stamped silver plate made in England and engraved to the front. This is all working stock, guys. I'm going to sell all of this on and not keeping any of it. Um, I said I'm not keeping any of it. This piece, I think, is solid silver. There's a mark by there. Need to get an eyeglass on that. But this piece is solid silver, so I've had a little solid silver dish off him too. Um, all in with the same price for the £30. So that one, 25, 30 grams. So there's one to be put away. I'm going to need to get my eyeglass on to look at the um, pieces tidy. I'll cover that one later because that's not silver plate. I want to just cover the silver plate in this film. Again, there's another source boat, real pretty, good condition, EPNS, lovely little legs, nice shape. As you can see, it's quite some quite saleable pieces of silver plate here, guys. Oh, this, I love this. This is really, really nice. Now, the silver plate, I'm not sure if this would be for, like, napkins or something like that. And you'd stand all your napkins up and you could just pull one out or whether it'd be cutlery to be stood up in I'm not sure it's crested or memorial to the front it's really nice there's no makers marks or nothing on there now this is Victorian the crest it's a crown over what looks like interlaced L's um, really really nice it's only about four or five inches tall so it's not very tall, beautiful quality, beautiful condition, but that's a nice piece of Victorian silver plate. We have another <laughs> Temple Crook again, source boat, beautiful condition again inside and out, lovely shape. So that's one, two, three, four, that is five. 
sauce boats. Before we go any further, five sauce boats, the wine cooler or champagne bucket or wine wine bucket, whatever you want to call it, that beautiful crested uh, nap, napkin holder, beautiful toast rack and that tea strainer so far. Real nice so far. I'm really happy with the little job lot I'm getting at the moment, guys. Next we have a pair of Victorian silver plate or early 20th century silver plate knife rests. I'm trying to see if they're silver or plate. They feel plate quite heavy and I can't see no marks on them. So they would sit on a table like so and you'd lie your knives or whatever across them. They're quite a standard set but they're going to go out about a tenner for the pair. No problem at all. Um, or if I got about eight quid, I'd be happy enough. Just for a lovely little pair of antique knife rests like that. Probably give me a tenner, to be honest with you. They're in real nice condition. There's no damage on them, no plate wear. They're quite nice. More than happy with them, guys. Couple of salt spoons. That one is silver. That one is plate, so I'll put that one there. That's a little silver spoon to go with the dish. Little silver preserved spoon. There's the table salt, master salt to go with our set. So I'll show you that set in just a minute. That's the last piece out of the bag. And we have yet again a mustard pot, engine turned silver plate, original blue glass liner, lovely shape, real nice condition. And to be honest with you, when I when I looked at this first of all, I thought it might have been silver. Um, however, quite clearly stamped on the base EPNS England. So it's about 1920s, um, but with a little wipe over, you know. They go for 12 quid, no problem at all. So, what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces of silver plate there so far. An all saleable silver plate. Then we come to this glorious set here, which is high end Victorian. I think it's a Victorian set. Yep. Not Victoria mine. It's stamped made in England, EP on copper, and something bros and sun. So it's about 1920s, 1930s. Either way, it is a full set, absolutely spectacular shape. Look at that. Let me show you the legs on this. Take a look at the legs by here, guys. You have a lion's head as the finial of the leg and then coming down into a paw. It's spectacular, they really are. Um, let me see if I can get a clear view of the maker's mark for you. Here's the best mark. There you go. On the top they have all this uh, classical scrolling all the way around. And even on the back of the handle they've got like a fern design and on the top. As I've said, they got the original Bristol blue glass liners and they're in good condition. I have its own plate. Yeah. So I have this and this, both handled, absolutely stonking. And then we have the Master Salt. Which again has got lost a spoon, got its liner, and then obviously the salt. Now this is fine quality. Um, of all the pieces, I love the uh, napkin holder bars, and I love the tea strain. Now the rest of it, I'm not really bothered about one way or another's working stock. But this set, I think this set's about forty-five pound, no problem whatsoever. So the there's three pieces there for definite that are going to go onto 
my shop online. This is going to be cleaned up, this set, and it's going to get listed a silver plate, English silver plate. Um, we have a full uh, preserved companion. So you've got your mustard, your jam, and your salt, or whatever it goes in them. Really, really nice quality, guys, honestly. You can't see it in the video, the quality of these pieces, um, but that is something. So I love those. They're going on to the uh, site there, are they not going to the car book tomorrow? And of course then, I have the two pieces of silver, which are going to be put away into my silver stores. Um, the toast rack. That's nice enough to go on eBay guys, no problem whatsoever. Um, I'll chuck that up for 20, 25 quid on eBay as you see it. Um, I may clean it, I may not. Really is a nice toast rack, so that won't be going to the booty tomorrow. Um, the tea strainer needs acid testing, but I'm going to keep that one actually at the house and use that one. Uh, but the day will come where I'll sell that and I'll sell it for a ten and no problem at all. So already just on the toast rack and the tea strainer that... Uh, I'm not going to the car boot sale, I'd like get my money back. Or on the um, com companion set. So what are we looking? We're looking maybe 40 quid for the three pieces there. 20 for the toast racks is 60. Another tenner for the tea strainer is 70. About 20 quid, 25 quid worth of scrap. So we're up about 95. These may go on to eBay for 12 pounds, the little knife rests. So that's going to return me a tenner again. So it's about 105. Um, if I said um, about eight pound a piece on the source boats, um, you know five eights forty quid. So I can't think. I can't remember what I was up to. Was it ninety five, one hundred and five? So let's say um, about one hundred and forty, one hundred and forty five pound, give or take, with the source boats. Then we have beautiful little. English silver plate preserved like that. It's another 10, 155. That one's going to be 20 quid on eBay. That's going online now. One, uh, so 170, and I get 10 or 15 quid for that when my eyes closed. No problem whatsoever. I've lost count. I got to be up 160 pound for 30 pound, guys. That is seriously good business sense and something I don't mind selling. Um, that's probably I'll sell I'll take it tomorrow, I'll put eighteen pound on to take fifteen. If it don't sell, it's gonna go up onto eBay. That I'm not taking tomorrow. Uh, that lot's not coming tomorrow. I may take that, I don't know. But the source boats I'm gonna sell the source boats and get my money back. 10, 20, 25, 30. I'll sell the source boats, what I'm probably gonna do, I'll sell them to one dealer and I'll sell them for thirty quid for the five to be totally honest with you. That's what I'll try and do, and I'll get all my money back on the source boats, and then everything else comes free and free and clear. <coughs> if I sold them individually, I may even get a tenner a piece. Um, but I'm all about fast turnaround, get my money back as quick as I can. This lot then, no matter how long it takes to sell, this is my profit. And um, if I sit on a piece for six months, it doesn't matter. That's my money. Um, it doesn't cost me nothing. My money will be back in tomorrow without a shadow of a doubt on all them source boats, they're gorgeous. Um, and to be honest with you, these pieces are good enough to sell on eBay. So if they don't pay me the money I want from tomorrow at the car boot, then eBay they shall be going to. Not to mention, I've lucked on then two pieces of silver to put away. So all in all, just on the silver plate bag alone, I'm very happy. And I'm going to give you a little look now. My office is full of stock at the moment. Uh, I've just come back. i got boxes and boxes everywhere in a minute. So I'll give you a little look now. Um, just so you can see the um, pieces I've got to make films out of. So we got boxes over here. We've got boxes down here. This has all got to be made into films today. So that I can... Um, sell it or for some of it out tomorrow and on Sunday. The weather forecast is crap um, so that's not great. Um, brother and I, been a brilliant video. Um, I'm really pleased with the pieces that have gone in there. On a negative side, um, I had my very first 
nasty texts or comments today. Um, and believe it or not, it was over this chair. Um, I'm very much animals rights, just like yourselves, or like a lot of you. I wouldn't go hunting, I wouldn't kill for sport. Um, I don't condone in killing animals for their skins and things like that. A lot of what I deal in is antique, is history, um, it's preserving um, history. But first of all, I'm going to talk about the leather. Now, if you're vegetarian, vegan, animal rights, wherever else you want to be, that is absolutely fine, that is your choice. Um, but I had somebody be quite aggressive with me today over a leather chair. Now, there must be 100 million leather sofas sold each year. Um, do you mourn a Clarks selling leather shoes? I'm sure you don't. Uh, do you mourn a Tesco's and Asda's and all the other big supermarkets who stock every range of meat there is? I'm just a little man who makes a little video on the stuff I buy at the car boot sale. This chair would have ended up in a bin. Yes, it's leather. Okay, I don't have a problem with it. If you have a problem with it, that's absolutely fine. I don't force you to watch my videos. Um, my channel isn't going to be for everybody. And I will occasionally be showing or talking about animal products such as ivory, bone, um, tortoise shell, things like that. If that offends you, I'm sorry, but you're best probably not staying on the channel as this is something I do by regular. Would I condone it, condone it in today's society? No, I wouldn't. Um, but at the same time, I don't push my beliefs on other people either. So if my videos are offending anybody with the animal products, then I will apologise and I will say, you best not watch the films. Um, for the person in question who's very upset over my leather chair, I'm not going to get into an animal rights dispute with you. I suggest you take it up with someone who can actually make a difference in the world. I'm nobody, I can't make a difference. So I'm going to leave it there at that. Um, so, if you get offended by the animal products, then guys, genuinely, I wish you all the best, but uh, my videos are not for you. But for everybody else, um, I'm here to preserve history. Most of what I buy at the car boot sale would end up in a dustbin, buried and lost and forgotten. Because uh, more often than not, from a car boot sale, the next step is to the dump or to a charity shop and enter the bin. So, this is recycling at its best. I love what I do, um, and I'm not going to change for anybody. So... Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, more than shocked today with their comments, but still, I'm going to leave it go. I'm not even going to reply to that, because I'm just not going to get into arguments. So, I wish you all the best, honestly, I really do. Anyway guys, if uh, you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like and a share. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you uh, would like to uh, follow me and watch my further videos. You'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. We're on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. And we have our own website, antiquesarena.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.